If we want the bridge to stay up, we'll need to add a gadget between the trigger zone and the rotator to keep it activated. We can do this with a counter. So let's go into the assembly menu. Press square to open it if it's closed. Select the gadgets menu with X. You'll find the counter in the logic and processing section. The gadgets in this menu take an input signal and change it in some way before sending it on. Go ahead and select the counter. Its icon is a tally counter. Now you can see the gadget on your imp. Hover over the microchip and it will snap to the canvas. Press R2 or X to stamp the counter onto the microchip, then press circle to unequip it. The counter gadget counts up or down whenever it receives a signal through its inputs. By default, it starts its count at zero and has a target of one. Once it reaches that target, it sends a constant signal through its counter full output port. Before we connect it though, let's tidy up the wires connecting the trigger zone to the rotators. Just hover over them and press triangle to delete them. Now press R2 or X over the detected output of the trigger zone to create a new wire. Connect it to the increase count input port on the counter. That's the port with the plus sign icon. Now when the trigger zone is activated, the counter will go up to one. And this is the important part, it will stay at one even after the trigger zone deactivates. Now hover over the counter full output port of the counter. This port sends a signal when the counter reaches its target. Create a wire with R2 or X and connect it to one of the rotator's power ports. Then do the same for the other one. Time to switch to play mode and try out our new connections. When you're happy everything's working as it should, return to edit mode and move on to the next step. <laughs> 